Why do we use vector notation in a first order system? Basically, it's to simplify the way we write the system, the way we present the system. But it's also because we have some knowledge and useful features of vectors from previous classes, like vector calculus or linear algebra. So instead of writing a system dx dt is some function of x and y and dy dt is some function of x and y, some other function, we could compact the notation by putting the two dependent variables x and y into one variable, a vector y. And then the function takes x and y and puts them into the functions f and g. That's really a vector field. Two values in, vector in, two values out, vector out from calculus 3. That's a vector field. Two values in, two values out, a vector field. Now we could write, if you like, the ordered pairs instead of column notation. That might be what you're used to from the calculus class. But either way, that lets us write our system more compactly. d dt of x, y represents dx dt and dy dt. And the vector f of x, y, g of x, y, that represents the two descriptions of the slopes. We could also just say dy dt equals f of y. That's very compact. And it kind of reminds you of a first order equation that's autonomous. No mention of t on the right hand side. For a specific example, let's look at dx dt is 2x minus 3y and dy dt is x minus y squared. Well then the vector xy gets transformed into the vector f of xy where f of xy is 2x minus 3xy comma x minus y squared. You're not changing the system at all. You're simply writing it in a different way. Writing it in a way that might be easier to consume in some cases.